Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, we are starting to look forward into this next promo in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, and that is Future Stars. And today, what I want to do is take a look at some of the leaked cards and just kind of answer the question, will Future Stars be hyped? Now, my obvious and my first inclination to that is obviously a yes, because Future Stars is always a really, really hype promo coming after team of the year because we get a lot of boosted special cards of players that would really not get that many special cards or really usable meta high rated special cards that's the pull and that's why future stars is hype but since we have some of these leaked cards of the cards that are going to be in team number one coming out tomorrow i want to take a look and just kind of answer that question since we have leaks this year and since we know a lot of stuff ahead of time before these cards are dropping on the market, we can almost prepare a little bit ahead of time in that sense for, are we expecting a really hype promo day tomorrow when Future Stars does drop? We already have the swaps rewards, which is a big plus for a promo like this. Of course, as we learned, people love the Winter Wildcard swaps program. People are really loving this Future Stars swaps program as well, as we now have eight tokens available. And I'll talk how EA was a little bit um, I guess sneaky with the ones that they released yesterday. They released three of them yesterday, but one of them is hard to find. So I'll show you if you have not found that out. And then of course, team of the year is ending tomorrow, of course. And today's a big rewards day with a milestone. So we'll speak on the market and kind of what's going on. EA actually dropped lightning rounds yesterday. Yes, lightning rounds on a Wednesday. We mentioned that at the end of the video yesterday and they did it. So we have some of the honorable mention cards dropping a little bit on the market because of that. So if you're hyped for future stars, of course, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it, right? Again, we talked about leaked cards already earlier this week, but now we have statistics, right? And we actually have a couple new future star cards to look at for that are going to be in team number one coming tomorrow on this game. And of course, some uh, new um, leaked SBC and objective cards that we could be seeing very soon. So let's dive into it. We're going to look at a lot of cards today, and this is going to help us answer the question, is Future Stars going to be a really high promo? Again, Bellingham, Vlahovic, Smith Rowe, all these cards that we looked at earlier in the week are still confirmed. We have two new items that are confirmed. Joao Pedro. This is not Joao Pedro from the Serie A. I made the mistake of looking this guy up today and thinking it was going to be him. It's actually Joao Pedro, the Watford striker. Again, these are young players, right? And then Cody Gakpo. I believe he's from the Eredivisie. So there are two new items that were not originally confirmed that now are as a part of Future Stars Team 1. I would imagine that there'd be 11 cards in packs. If there's 14 players, 11 cards in packs, and then a mini release on Sunday, right? We've come to expect that with promos in this year. Now let's look at some stats, right? Because there are some big boy stats and big boy upgrades, right? Emil Smith-Rowe, one of the cards that is leaked to be coming out this weekend. Position change to center attacking mid, 93 pace, 91 dribbling, 87 shooting, 89 passing, 81 physicality. This kind of reminds me a little bit last year of like the Steven Bergwijn card, except it's central. The Steven Bergwijn last year was like a left mid. This card looks really, really good. Like insanely good. And right there off the bat, I'm like, man, EA Sports, you're giving out some pretty big boosts and pretty juicing up these cards for this Future Stars promo. So I love the looks of that card. Now, this is going to be a really expensive item, right? Of course, when you see this English center attack in mid Premier League, an exciting youngster, right? 93 pace, four star, four star, I believe. Maybe they upgraded skill moves or weak foot even more uh, as a part of this card. Um, this is going to be a really, really hyped item in this game just because of the player that he is. Now, one thing that I've been talking about is will Future Stars be hype, right? I think it really depends on the prices of this promo. And as you're going to see when we look through like this team of leaked players, right? You're going to have a good balance in here. We're coming out of a team of the year promo where like all of your cards are over, especially for the team of the year players themselves. Besides Donnarumma, your next cheapest team of the year is Hakimi at 700,000 coins. And most of these items are upwards of a million coins, some 3 million coins like Conte and Messi. And we're going to be going back into a promo where a lot of the cards are going to be in that lower tier range where a lot more people that don't have millions of coins on FIFA can try these new cards out, and that's going to make it more hype for the game as a whole, not just for people that have a lot of coins. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind as well. But 
I think that the pack weight's a huge key to whether this promo really is hype or if it's just cool, right? But I think Emil Smith Rowe is going to be a pretty expensive card from the start. Let's keep moving through some of these leaked cards, right? Pedri is not coming out tomorrow. He is going to be in team two, but look at that freaking card, right? That looks really, really insane for a Pedri special card in this game. We'll look more at that next week. But this is probably the headliner of the entire promo. Besides Smith Rowe, this Jude Bellingham looks disgusting i mean look at that card 93 dribbling 91 physical 88 passing 88 pace as well 88 defense that's just a sick looking card right that's going to probably be the most expensive card in this team one promo coming out tomorrow but that's a hype boost that's a really really good looking card right there now how hype am i talking right is this going to be two million coins day one one and a half million coins Honestly, the most expensive card that usually drops at Future Stars is over 2 mil. I believe last year and in FIFA 20, we had cards over 2 million coins. But since the market is so much cheaper this year, I think that this card would probably settle at under 2 million coins, maybe like the 1.5 to 1.75 range, depending on how rare and how packable he is. Probably not going to be that uh, packable because he's 93 rated, but that looks disgusting now let's keep moving down the line right this one i think is very interesting mateus cunha brazilian center attacking mid atletico madrid links brazil links as well right that's pretty hype 93 pace 92 dribbling he looks pretty similar to smith Rowe, right and he is a four star four star if he decided to upgrade his skill mover weak foot there that would make him insane but like compare him to emil smith Rowe, and they're actually pretty similar they're actually pretty similar, right? With similar pace, shooting, passing, a little bit less passing on Cunha, but that's a really dope card. I expect him to be a, a way more affordable than um, Smith Rowe would be, but that's hype, right? I love the boost here on this card. Love the potential with this Cunha. Let's keep moving down the line a little bit more, right? Here's a big one. Konate is in, of course, the elite team for tomorrow. 83 pace, 91 defense, 88 physicality, 77 dribbling. I think for me, the thing that puts this card off just a little bit is the lack of pace and the passing. 68 passing just looks bad for this point of the year. I mean, when you look at Varane, he only has 72. Yes, this is a nice green link because they're both French and in the Premier League. I think people would like to see Konate with a little bit more pace. Um, but that's still a card that I think might be a little bit cheaper because that pace is lower. But it's still a really good item and it's hype and it's got really good links. So that's going to be a card a lot of people will want to get their hands on. Moving down the line again, we don't have an actual image for this, but Chow Mini, who is in Team 1 coming out tomorrow, a lot of people are going to get excited about him. 84 pace. We may have already looked at this because this was this has been leaked for a little bit now, but 84 pace, 88 dribble, 88 defense, 93 physicality. That card looks really boosted as well. Vlahovic, which is in Team 1, 92 overall, 90 pace, 90 dribble, 92 shooting. If they give him a 4-star, four 4-star four upgrade from his 3-3 three three that it currently is, that could be a really cool card. And as we keep moving down the line, we'll, we'll talk about this Tomiyasu in a second, but it really just seems like for all these cards that they're going to be putting out, they're giving them really good boosts. They're giving them really good boosts, and that's how it almost always is with future stars. But from these leaked stats, it kind of shows us again, like from the, the Bellingham card that they showed, I mean, he's getting plus eight physical, plus eight shooting, eight passing, nine, sorry, nine physical, eight pace, He's getting plus eight dribbling and plus seven defense. That's going to be an insane, insane card, right? From a card already with high, high work rates, four-star weak foot in the midfield with really good stats on an 84 rated inform. I mean, it really looks like they're going all out with future stars again. I know some people have seen some of these leaks and they're like, man, it doesn't look, you know, as insane as it maybe has in previous years. But still, I'm seeing these, these stats and these leaks. And to me, it really does look like it's going to be an insane set of future stars uh, that are coming out. Even Smith Rowe, as I said again, right, is 84 left mid. Uh, he is four star, four star and high high. You're going to make him a center attacking mid, a central card that you can obviously position change and move. He already has 91 attack positioning and 88 ball control with really high agility balance. They're upgrading that dribbling from 86 going to 91. So plus five in all the stat categories. He's going to be almost 90 agility, almost 90 balance, maybe a little bit lower than that. His composure hopefully gets a pretty big boost on the in-game stats as well. That's for a lot of these cards that are youngsters, you kind of notice that their composure is actually a little bit lower. So really, I hope that EA boosts that up on a lot of these cards. That would be huge for some of the in-game stats as well. So based off of just the cards that are coming in packs, in my opinion, I think EA is putting out some pretty big juice and it looks really good. So I'm excited for that. Now, it doesn't just stop there, right? Some other stuff that is going to be coming out 
is one thing we saw last year in, in FIFA 21 was player pick SBCs. If you guys remember, uh, this SBC here for the, uh, it was like Bruno, Bruno Guillerme was his name. I don't even know how to say this guy's name. He's a Brazilian midfielder. This guy, Bruno Guillerme uh, from Lyon. He had the center mid or the center defensive mid player pick. And we also had the Curtis Jones, right? We had the left mid or center mid Curtis Jones as a part of last year's promo. It looks like we're getting something like that again. And since this was one of the first leaks that came out about future stars, this might be an SBC that we see tomorrow on Friday. It might be one of our first SBCs, or it could be a little bit later on down the line. A player pick between Tomiyasu, right back or center back. The right back version with less defense and physical, but more pace, better passing and dribbling. The center back card, I mean, that looks really good. I know, of course, Arsenal links, but besides the Premier League links, not the best by nation for linking and squads, but that card looks insane. I think the stats might be predicted though. Yeah, stats are a prediction, so we'll have to see what the card is when it comes out. But I like the player pick aspect of this, right? Really, I do. It depends on the price on whether this is going to be sick or not and the stats, but I like that they're bringing that back as a part of future stars. Another thing, we've been talking about this on the streams as well, they're bringing back the Academy Objective Players. And one thing that they always push during Future Stars is gameplay, right? Because you're coming out of Team of the Year. Some people have absolutely drained their accounts trying to pack cards. And they really uh, kind of push gameplay objectives. And this is one of the ways they do it with the Future Stars Academy players. Chaloba is confirmed to be one of the cards that we will get. And I imagine that this Chaloba will drop tomorrow with the start of this promo. If not tomorrow, maybe on Saturday or Sunday, we'll have to see. But they did this last year with Renier Jesus from Dortmund. Do you guys remember that? So that is confirmed to be happening again as well, which is a big dub, right? That's always one thing of Future Stars that we always look out for. So it looks like Future Stars is gonna contain things that it almost does every year, right? Cool cards and packs with upgrades that are insane, really good stats, SBCs with player pick options and the objective cards, right? That's a dub. That is a tremendous W for, for future stars. And with the way that it looks right now, in my opinion, I really think future stars is going to be very, very hype. And I'm excited to see how EA does this. And as we get closer to the promo and as we get into the promo, how this plays out. I think the pack weight and all the other content, of course, plays a factor. But it looks like it's going to be a tremendous promo for future stars, and I think that it is gonna be hype. So that's just kind of my take, and I wanted to take you through some of those lead card stats because, of course, that is out there. It's affecting the market because, like for the Chow Many card, right? You're already seeing people start to prepare by selling other League One midfielders that are maybe in that kind of upper tier price range. Like Seiko Fofana, of course, was like 900,000 coins. He is now down to like 830,000 coins. He was 800K flat at one point, and he's bounced back a bit. Um, so you've already started to see people sell off some cards because of items that are coming in this game. So that's just kind of some stuff to watch out for. But I think Future Stars is going to be a dub. And I really think that it's going to, you know, appeal to the more mass casual user base and the whole game of FIFA, not just the upper echelon with the most expensive players of Team of the Year. So that's just kind of something to keep an eye on. And of course, we have the swaps, right? We have the Future Stars swaps tokens that are out that everybody loves to engage with as well. With all those things going on, I think it's gonna be a hype promo. I really, really do. And that's just gonna keep this game moving and keep people interested in the game, which is exactly what EA wants. Now, let's move and talk about the current market again with the rewards today and team of the year ending. And we gotta start with these future star swap tokens because EA released three of them yesterday. Yes, three of these swap tokens. The first one was available through a Team of the Year Challenge SBC, which is a W in its own right. It's a bit expensive because uh, make sure you check your club, by the way, for rare bronzes and silvers. They are flying because of this SBC. You get a swap token and a mega pack. It's a W because you get a mega pack. It's a bit of an L because it's expensive, but that was token number one. Token number two was released through an 84 plus player pick SBC. Uh, if I can find it, yeah, right here, 84 plus player pick SBC that gave you a token as well. A lot of people were doing that yesterday, but the third one is the tricky one, and EA's being a little sneaky here with this. It's under the milestones tab. Uh, I auto claimed a gold pack. Okay, very nice. Thank you, EA. Under the milestones tab, you're going to see that there is a new silver stars, and EA does not do a very good job of telling you uh, what's going on in here, but if you go into this, if it actually loads for me, and I can see 
Uh, is it Gibbs White, who is a Silver Stars player? I don't know what it is. There it goes. It takes forever to load these sometimes. Uh, if you, you know, press X or square to compare, uh, you see that there is a Future Stars swap token available through Silver Stars. So I know a lot of you guys don't like to play Silver Stars. Some of you guys do. I usually don't. But this week, you have an incentive to play a few games of Silver Stars get this item and get the token as well as under the year in review objective there's one hiding in here too so that was released a couple days ago this one was released yesterday but ea is releasing a lot of these tokens and they're already getting people prepared for future stars with uh these tokens and what's going on right now with this kind of token project swaps rewards and all of that stuff so make sure you didn't miss those because i know a lot of people were not finding those three tokens yesterday because they were very hard to find now again with that player pick that was out yesterday a lot of the market was moving but what also caused market movement yesterday was the fact that ea sports released lightning rounds and we talked about it at the end of the video yesterday with team of the year at the end of its promotion ea was like okay it's a wednesday new team of the week is out even though the team of the week is not good at all EA said, we're going to full send some packs, right? They said, we're going to full send some packs. And they put out lightning rounds yesterday. Some of these extra plus packs were in the store. Uh, maybe like for a last chance for some people that hadn't spent FIFA points or during the weekend or had a few more FIFA points that were trying to pack a team of the year at their last chance uh, to go ahead and do that. So you saw some prices on the market drop yesterday, specifically on the honorable mentions. They didn't really drop a lot though. And I've been watching some of the cards this, this evening into today on Thursday and with the milestone rewards of course we're keeping a sharp eye on these items um, with future stars on the horizon I think it's just going to be a select few honestly a select few of these honorable mentions that will do really really well in the market a lot of people want to buy these for their team but also a lot of people want to invest in them so I'm being very careful with these cards with a really hyped promo of future stars right around the corner I'm being very careful, right? So that's kind of my take on these right now. I think some of them might rise today after rewards. I think the market might rise a decent amount today after rewards, especially in terms of SBC fodder. Because with those lightning rounds yesterday, a lot of fodder actually dropped in price from that supply. And if we take a look at some prices right now, and, and maybe some of the graphs here, let's look at the index 86, you can see that this stuff dropped off, right? From 100 and almost 140 points on the index down to 117, kind of rising back up now. Fodder dropped off a decent amount. I mean, you 88 ratings were like 33 or 34,000 coins. Now, Ramos is back up to 29K as people recognize this drop-off was too big. He was 35K. He was all the way down at like 28,000 coins. It is now starting to rise back up a little bit. I think today, with most of the milestone rewards and division rivals rewards packs being untradeable, because most people take untradeable, not everybody, but most people do, specifically with the milestone rewards being untradeable, people are going to pack some higher rated fodder players, 85s, 86s, 87s, people are going to be packing those items, and that's going to make them go out and finish some more SBCs, whether it's a mid-icon upgrade, whether it's maybe the Varan flashback. I think that's today is going to be a day where a lot of people are waiting for these packs to go out and finish some SBCs that they maybe have been wanting to do during this team of the year period. So I would watch out for fodder to be rising and maybe some of the market in general as people are just kind of waiting to buy teams for the season rewards today, especially the team of the year and the honorable mention prices. It's a tough spot with team of the years. I mean, if you think that future stars is going to really drop the market this weekend, then you're, you know, you might not want to put your, your coins into a card like Conte when you have a big center defensive mid crew, like um, a big, mid, big midfielder crew of Chalmany coming and a Pedri card coming next week and a Gravenberge coming next week, a Bellingham card coming. Those are like a lot of center mid items that might hurt the center mid market. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Conte is still so elite compared to some of those items that will be coming out. But with more options coming on the game, people always love the brand new and the most like the hottest, the newest items on the market. So I would just be careful with some of these team of the year cards. If the content comes out tomorrow on Friday and it's not hype at all, then you might see some of these team of the year and honorable mentions cards rebound back higher in price on the market. But that's just kind of something to keep an eye on today uh, and in the next two or three days in this game. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in tomorrow's video that if the content for future stars does a little bit underwhelm, people on this game, then I think you will see these honorable mentions bounce back even more as we've seen in the past. But I really just don't feel like Future Stars is going 
to underwhelm. I feel like it is going to be a W promo. I think it's going to be hype just because it always is, right? Since it first came out in FIFA 19, it has been a W promo. And I, I think that's not going to change this year. So let's talk about Thursday content though for today, just a little bit more. We've had good content this week. We really have, right? With the swap tokens, we've had two days in a row with the year in review SBC two days ago. And then yesterday with the 84 plus, they're, they're dropping these... Um, these gamble SBCs, right? They're dropping the, these kind of like gamble, go out and hopefully pack something sick SBCs and everybody loves those. So I wonder if we get one more today. Today, Thursday, the last day of team of the year, how is EA going to end this thing? Are they going to end it with a bang or are they going to end it kind of quiet? I, I doubt they would really end it super duper quiet. The Danny Omelette yesterday uh, was just not that good. The work rates weren't adjusted, not enough pace. A decent card if you love Leipzig or if you're a Danny Omel fan. Very interesting links, but just not that great in my opinion. Uh, now, one thing that EA actually tweeted out, and this relates to future stars. I want to talk to you about this for a moment here, is the talent scout. I think we maybe showed this in yesterday's video. Um, they showed a, a vote between Brazil, Germany, and Spain. Brazil won the vote. They tweeted out yesterday and they said, our talent scout which position should they key in on striker or right midfielder and a lot of people are choosing striker right so we're going to get a brazilian striker sbc as chosen by the community um sometime on this first weekend i would expect it to be on saturday so i was kind of looking through some cards it's really not obvious who they might choose for this i'm really curious to see who they might choose whether they take somebody that's a right or left wing and position them as a striker or take somebody that already is a striker and give them a card i don't know what's going to happen but this is kind of nice that they're giving like some community vote into this decision as well um, for some of these cards. So I just kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Um, and that's part of the content from yesterday as well. So I wanted to shout that out there a little bit today. But personally for me, I'm still on this team of the year packing grind and we're still trying so hard to get team of the years. I packed three honorable mentions, got Mendy back again, third time packing him. Packed Benzema yesterday from the 82 times 25. Uh, turn him in for the Varane SBC, and I also packed Jonathan David, but no team of the year. As you see, the counter is still at two. We're going to make one final send over the next day and a half to hopefully get ourselves another team of the year uh, through some of these upgrade packs. But, of course, time is of the essence, and that time is, is soon going to be ending with team of the year cards going out of packs. So, again, I just want to take this chance today and talk about future stars because leading into a big promo like this one, Am I expecting a big market drop? Not really. It just depends. It just really, really depends because a lot of people have coins, but also on the other hand, some people are broke right now. And we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, uh, kind of market related, how I think things will happen on Friday with the promo, uh, especially after we get the content today and see what's going on. But that's kind of my take and my opinion on future stars. And I think it's going to be hype. It is every single year. EA looks like they're going to deliver again this year with some big time stat upgrades, some good choices and position changes hopefully some skill move and weak foot upgrades accompany those stat boosts and hopefully the content sbcs and stuff is pretty good because future stars always delivers i don't think it's going to disappoint this year as well so if you enjoyed the video today make sure to smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace